guys welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome since it's the season of giving i am here with even more gifts for you Bye. everyone's least favorite subject and the most dreaded in season ever i am here to tell you how i got a one and how you can get one too that's basically my gift for you and your gift for me is going to be liking this video and subscribing to my channel and commenting telling me that you want more videos like this so let's get into it before i start to tell you what to do the first thing sds i know that everyone says this i say it in every video but get 100% on that SPA. It is your best chance. It is what will make the difference between that 4 and that 3, that 2 and that 1. It is very important so just do your best. Get as many corrections as you can. Finish as early as possible and just do that SPA to the best of your abilities. The first thing I want you to do is to evaluate. So look at all the topics you've done so far. Make a list and see how competent you are in each of them. This will help you to see what you need to work on or what you are already good at. Next, and this goes hand in hand with the first one, I want you to look at the syllabus because oftentimes teachers don't finish a syllabus and then you get this on the paper and you don't know what to do. That was kind of me with function. The whole Y equal MX thing, we did it but we just didn't go in depth and I was kind of lost. I managed to catch up a little bit with my extra review, but it was not enough to get me that distinction, unfortunately. But that's what I want you to do, especially the bottom parts of the syllabus that they may not get to cover, and just ensure that you take the responsibility to cover everything. Next, I want you to forget about CC. So forget why you're doing this, forget all the topics you're doing in school, and look at the basics. Oftentimes, the reason why we struggle so much in math or we just don't do well it's because we don't know the basics we don't know how to multiply negatives we don't know how to divide by decimals we just don't know the foundations and math a thing with math that my teacher said and it's definitely true if you don't know what come before you never know what come after so how are you trying to learn and just desperately trying to understand when they don't even get what it come before so you need to go back, go back to primary school, basic school, go back in the room, go as far as I need to go to get the basics. And once you understand that, I can guarantee you, you will get this. Way. Next is to make it fun and relatable. I know math. Math could never be fun. That's what I said. And me you know I thought everybody come tell me that's what I said. I hated this, but it's really true. Me used to cry. Like I used to cry before math class. I'm sure it's sometime in the future, never do it again. I used to dread every single class. I dreaded the exam. I just could have bother. I hated math so much that I said after CSEC, I would never touch. I would never touch math. Again. And here I am. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. So, make it fun and relatable. For example, relative to your day-to-day -day life. No, no, no. Um, do this. Find the area of the triangle. I don't know, but guys. Just to do what you can to make it fun. It can be. Next, I want you to save outside sources. Class is very boring. Only certain teachers know how to make class interesting. So half of the times they're going to be in class, they're going to be like this, they're going to look outside and think, I really don't want to do this. I just want to go home. So the things you're learning in class, if you just rely on that, unless it's a subject that you naturally like and many people don't like math, it's not going to work so always go outside in your own time and that's a good thing about it when you're doing something in your own time you are more likely to you know so just take a little 20 minutes on the weekend watch some videos about certain topics and videos they really help once you learn a topic in class and you watch a video you're able to recall it so much faster because you already know the content from class so even if you don't understand it you already know so once you watch the video and now you understand, you're more likely to remember. So here are some YouTube channels that you can watch. These are not particularly related to CSEC. Well, actually, you can watch Kerwin Springer. 
But the reason why Terry David is not okay is because he's more serious. So he's the one you go to when you really want to like get into it and know the stuff, serious vibes. But for fun, these channels, especially Kerwin, because he makes it like really fun and he makes you know little jokes, and that can be good. Next, I want you to learn all the content. So once you look at the syllabus, you make your little list, you go over the foundations, you're seeking your outside sources. I want you to learn all the content. Ensure that you touch every topic in the syllabus. And I know the math syllabus is very long. So once you see this video, get to it. Don't waste on your teacher. You will not finish. Unless you're taking lots of evening classes. And even if you are doing that, you will not finish the syllabus. So, go over it into your free time, ensure that you touch all the topics, prioritize the ones that you know come every time on every paper, but ensure that you know everything, and get your feel, how do you feel when you know everything? How can you not get a one when you know everything? And plus, you already get so much on your school. So, you basically have it. You do. You need to watch past videos on the paper one. You can't swap those like you can for other subjects, however, like some of them, I don't know, it gives you that fastness when you're doing the exam. I can't explain it to you, but once you do it and you do the exam, you understand what I'm talking about. Or if you did the exam already and you're going to do it again, you get it. Or even when you're doing practice papers, just watch those past papers on the paper one. Next tip is to genuinely understand. Don't learn to just learn it. Don't learn to just pass the exam. Don't learn it just because you have to. Try to understand. Even if you don't like it and you have no interest in actually liking it, try to at least understand. Once you understand what you are doing and why you are doing it, you cannot go wrong. And with the formulas that you actually need to know that they don't give you, oh my. My math teacher this year ensured that I had this. He teaches in such a way where we understand what to do so we can just derive the formula. So we don't just memorize the formula, we actually know what we're supposed to do and based on that we can write the formula. So I want you to get to that point. The formula is basically telling you what to do. So if you know what to do, you don't even have to worry about remembering a formula because you already know it. Always genuinely try to understand if you have to watch a video, whatever you have to do, genuinely understand the topic that you're doing. I cannot stress this thing. Now that we know everything, we understand everything, it is time to practice. Do past papers, don't just watch the videos. This is a thing that I used to do, I would just watch the videos because I was too lazy to actually practice. But I had to get it right because I knew that I wanted that one. So, actually practice past paper questions and then go online to mark it especially with terry david he goes to the papers from various years so chances are the paper that you did he will have gone through it and then after you do the paper you can watch his video and self mark and see where you went wrong but of course you're not gonna do nothing wrong because you're gonna get 100 so just watch your papers do your papers and you are guaranteed that one Lastly, just pray, let go, and let God, and just know that once you've done your work, He will reward you, because trust me, into everything, into the tears, into all the studying, He knows that you need to pass, and more importantly, get that one. So, just pray, trust, believe in all the work you've done, believe that God will help you, and you basically have your one. So that's the video, things I did to help me get a one in C segment, and things that can get you that one as well. If you want to see more about the other subjects that I did, just tell me in the comments. And this video was another gift from me to you. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And I wish you all the best in your exams. That's it and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.